Dark Souls with my buddy Bjorn. My nephew has been having a great time on it so far, and we are going to get right back into this. Uh, we're doing a marathon stream today in order to try to beat the game because we only got today and tomorrow to work on it together. <clears throat> so we're going to go rescue Big Hat Logan. Let's uh, find that key. I think you picked up a blue Titanite chunk just a second ago. Yeah, is there another chest in here There's somewhere? like three chests like in this area right here and then a lever to pull <laughs> down uh, the staircase to go to the next area. Alrighty. Oh. Robes of the Chandlers. Oh, are those the... Those are the magic men. Oh, nice. Alrighty. Yeah, buddy. Oh, of course. You got it. He uh, got hit with it. <laughs> I finally saw the animation. Yeah, uh, I knew that was going to happen, man. I was sitting here like, I knew this was going to happen. And and it's, uh, it's the first time I've actually died to one of those. Oh, I, I didn't know those were insta-kills, though. That's insane. Oh, yeah, pretty much. You can survive it if you have good armor and really, really, really high HP. Should I do it again? <laughs> nah, but definitely kill him. Just so you can say you did. <clears throat> Our audio sounds good. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> oh, stagger first time. He's very... Man, your build is so good right now. Alrighty. Ooh, what did he drop? Ooh. Enchanted Falchion. Nothing that's worth anything to you, honestly. Okay. He's going to be checking every chest yeah. from here on out. Well, no, I was doing... Ooh, crystal. Yeah, it's so that you can make crystal weapons at the uh, blacksmith. But no, I was checking every single one of them. And then I quit for a little while. You want me to tell you a trick? Mm -hmm. So there's the key. Look at the chain that's right there on the right side of it. Yeah. If it's pointing towards you, that's a mimic. And if it's pointed like that, it's yeah. not. Um, yeah, literally, if you flip it over and it's pointing towards you, that's a mimic. Also, the lid moves up and down very slowly and you can see the teeth inside. Oh, okay. If you just like look really carefully all or right. just whack it like you've been doing and that works too. <laughs> I mean, uh -oh. it does. All right. Uh -oh. All right. So we're going to have to go back to Big Hat Logan. So you're going to go up these stairs. Because you're basically headed back to your own jail cell. My own jail cell? Yeah. You remember where you went to jail? Broke out on accident. Oh, yeah. Go left. Go up the next stairs. All the way up? Yeah, all the way up. Left, left. And then I think this is the doorway to get into the... No, it's not. All right. Well, no, actually, it might be. Give it a second here. Yeah, go up to the right and to the right again. Yeah, this way. And then down. Alrighty. Keep going. Because we're going to go uh, rescue Big Hat Logan. That way you have access to his uh, spells for a moment here. Dude. <laughs> All right. Just keep running. No, climb down. Now, honestly, there's a part of me that wants to, like, go buy every spell from Big Hat Logan mm -hmm. and, like, progress his whole storyline. Because once you... No, no, not this way. Just go, on, go all the way down to the bottom. Um, you may want to drink before you get hit by one of these dudes and die. Oh my lord. Wow. All right. One HP the dream. <laughs> Just because we're rushing doesn't mean you can't stop playing the game. Yeah, no, I know. Alrighty. You'll end up having to kill them. They'll follow you all the way down. Can I open those cells back there and unlock those guys to get out? Um... If you do, you'll have to fight them every time you come through here. This is true. What? Oh, okay. A dude that was following you and fell down. Oh, nice. All right. So <clears throat> to the right, the cat. Oh, he's in here. He's at that uh, doorway right there. Mark this day in the book. One HP. Oh yeah, you need like one extra level to kill everything through here, almost. See, I can make them one-shot with the great soul arrow. 
so I just try to do that as much as possible. Yeah, I understand. And then you just take them out. Let's see, these guys are actually not bad souls. You may actually buy something decent from uh, Big Hat Logan here in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's 800 Ooh. apiece. And they drop stuff. Plus, we can sell some stuff to Frampton and try to get our... Uh, try to get our... Uh, money done oh. decently. That's death. Dang. You I know how you didn't sit at that bonfire yeah. halfway through here? Yeah, well... I assumed you didn't want me to. Why? Because I was... I need to be back here. You're able to teleport now. This is true. I didn't know if I could teleport from like... One um, fire in Anor Londo to another one. Yes. You can use the Lord Vessel to teleport to certain bonfires. And you have a teleport bonfire here already. Oh, okay. Yes. What up, in line two? How you doing? Nance has got a dentist appointment soon, so he won't be here for the whole time. I understand that, man. And in line is here watching us. Gonna let you impress in line. It, it's it's going good so far. <laughs> Remember, these guys are perfectly positioned, almost. Uh, yeah. Lock your path. Got lucky through there. <laughs> Man, I love this game. Just keep running. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, um, what we'll do is probably... Well, here, here's my question. Are you happy with great heavy soul arrows or do you want like a stronger type of one? Because at this point, anything you go from here mm -hmm. is going to have less shots. You got eight right now. The next one goes down to like four. But it deals like way more damage. I'm okay with going for the slower fire rate for higher damage. Because we're going to need about like 40k... Uh, souls to get the next one. So, which killing the squid things down here is going to give 800 a pop. Yeah. So that's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Young Onion Young Onion says be careful. Youngin? Youngin. Young Onion. Youngin. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Youngin. Like uh, you youngin. <clears throat> You youngin. With your video games and... <laughs> Crystal enemies that nearly <laughs> one-shot you. I saw the ladder just, just now get popped in. What do you mean popped in by... Well, you know, in a video game, as you get close to something, sometimes it... Oh, yeah. Renders in. Yeah. That's a good backstab. Oops. Good job. Very good backstab. You know how to roll. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. I was trying. I pressed the swing button. Yeah, and way too many times. The swing animation instead yeah. of rolling. It's, it's fine. We got a chat, boys. Whoop, whoop. I mean, yeah. We usually have a chat in our streams. <laughs> we do pretty good on people talking usually. Hey buddy, bye buddy. Some of these early morning streams can get a little funky every now and then. We just focus on the game, but uh, I just keep running. That's my. We philosophy. average about nine to eleven viewers usually, so we usually yeah, have somebody running. in the chat hanging out with us. My philosophy in life is, if I can run past you, you can't be that hard of a person. <laughs> no. These guys pretty much one-shot you every time, so that's definitely not accurate. Well, I can get past them, but they're not too hard. You have died to them several times. This is true. 
Ooh, Nance is wanting to see you fight Seath before he has to go do the dentist. Ooh. Well, I don't know how fast he's going to get through Crystal Cove. Huh. So at the very least, you're going to get to see him go through Crystal Cove. Do you have little faith? Because <laughs> he don't even know. Oh, I don't know if he can get through Crystal Cove in an hour. I was blocking for that enemy and he hit me from behind. I've got Crystal Cove at about an hour and a half and then Seath at 45 minutes. That's what I'm thinking right now on like getting through stuff. <clears throat> if I can get past this part. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the thing. If we don't want his spells, but there's also like a, um, Well, I don't know what you mean by that. Like, we want everybody in here. Like, you don't need us three. I need everybody, man. Yeah. I wasn't referring it to that way. You're the one that brought it to that statement. I was just saying that we usually have a chat, and I enjoy every time I get to chat with people. Especially new people. Yeah, we love new people. Check out our channel points. We got a bunch of stuff that you can redeem down in the channel points. Oh, uh, it's it just that guy just <laughs> stared at me. Just like, <laughs> even the moved. slow turn. Where are you gonna go? He even moved to the left for me. Yeah, just a little bit. That was a good left roll right there. That was solid. All right, and then we just lower them down here. I want to know Young how they get down Young is wondering here. if you want a tip to skip the stairs. Stairs? These stairs? Nah, the stairs that you head up to. He's probably telling you about the ladder. It's faster to run up the stairs than go up the ladder. It's just you have enemies up that way. One is a safe route, but longer. The other one is a short route, but... Uh, got enemies. At least I know I'm staggering them on, uh, two head. Yeah, you got the two hits on them right now, uh, which is really right. good. Hit deny for me over there. Deny, what is that? I had chat on the right side inside chat on the right side not left there you go thank you all righty let's get back into it don't want to sit at the bonfire this time wait where it's right there where those uh try where that uh lizards were and everything oh yeah i should probably sit there i reckon just in case i die again <laughs> <laughs> Nick on it. No, the stairs you are running down right now with the snake on it. Oh. There's a way to get down these stairs faster. Hmm. Just jump. I'm curious of what it is. Sure. Maybe it's the painted dress or the antique dress route or whatever it is. Bjorn don't need no bonfire. He is a man. That's right, yeah. Nance. Bjorn's a man. He don't need no bonfire. Exactly. That's why I didn't sit at it at first. He just runs down here and beats him. Then dies and regrets that he didn't take a bonfire. Accuracy. <laughs> there you go. Getting all them one shots ready. <laughs> So how you been doing this morning, Nance? Hopefully the dentist thing isn't too serious. Remember? It shouldn't be a one shot. Nah, that's what He I told us about that. Yeah, he did tell us, didn't he? Uh, I can't. Was it? Dollywood has like my brain entirely wiped. Like Dollywood and Splash Country wore me out. Oh, I, I don't think I've been up there. Oh, yeah, you yeah, have. No. That's where the record player is. These are really good souls right here. Honestly. 
I wonder if you two-handed, if you were able to, like, kill these guys a little easier. You can two-hand a... Oh, yeah, you could two-hand... No, 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 not that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about two-hand with great magic weapon, then see oh. if you can one-shot. Well, now I'm curious... Okay, yeah, no, it, you can't. Okay. Let's see. Gotta be careful with them grabs, man. Well, I'm wondering what kind of shortcut you got going on. Yeah, if you use great magic weapon right now, you'd be one-shotting them every time, and that's a lot faster. Now I'm curious what this, like, special way of going down the stairs is. Touch up on a feeling, I understand that. Yay, Big Hat Logan's down here. This was not a waste of time. Because we we're going to lose Big Hat Logan when we kill C. Oh. So, like, do you want to farm up some souls to get his spells or just get a certain spell from him? What is that noise? It's a dude's upstairs. Oh, thank, thank you very God. much. I'm saved. That makes twice. I must be sure. <clears throat> I think at the very least we should get the second version of Great Heavy Soul Arrow. That way, once we get a third attunement slot, we can have 16 Great Heavy Soul Arrows, and that might be better than buying the 40k yeah. four-shotter. Inline. Same, the only way I can think of it is a fall control quit out. Never heard of a fast way down. I've never heard of a fast way down. I want to know what this guy's talking about. I'm thinking maybe... Remember, there's an item in the back of that room, too. Um, I'm thinking maybe it has something to do with going down antique dress so that you travel through the back side of it or something. I didn't realize there was a firekeeper soul back here. Daggone. Mm. Nance, mark this down in the book. There's a firekeeper soul like with uh, Big Hat Logan. I completely forgot about that. So we don't have, we didn't have to kill that woman over at that. No, we want to get up to plus seven. Oh, okay. So plus yeah. seven's the max. All right, and then we just head all the way back. Yep, uh, you can head to the bonfire, then warp most of the time. Right. I can explain. Link deleted. Be lengthy. I'd rather shamelessly plug my YouTube video. Well, good thing links are disabled. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you just run. How far up again? Oh yeah, here we go. Do we have to head back to the Firelink Shrine? Um, I would hang on to this Firekeeper Soul and potentially use it for humanity, because you're gonna have a couple of bonfires that you're gonna want to upgrade. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, plus five is fully healing you. So, all right, warp uh to Duke's archives. All oh, right, this one won't let you warp. You're gonna have to go all the way back. Ah. Alrighty then. Go figure. I don't ever use that bonfire for actually doing stuff, so. I wonder if the snake boys can climb. That'd be a sight to see. Yeah. Anyway, um, with 9,800. Yeah, we probably, well, we won't be going to Firelink Shrine for uh, Big Hat Logan. He'll be in a new spot now, uh, which is close by in the shortcut area yeah and um what we'll do is we'll go when we get to the bonfire down here because all you gotta do is go down all these stairs right i just wouldn't even fight right here man you don't want to lose this 9.8 k this is true <clears throat> but um we'll go to firelink shrine just to sell some stuff to framp drink yeah you're safe right here <clears throat> that was actually close all yeah right Sell some stuff to Framp. Yeah, sell some stuff to Framp. That way we can get enough to buy some other stuff. I, I, I saw I had this time. coming. <laughs> I can run through. I just just don't lose those souls. Is all I ask. Alrighty. 
I could go pick up 9,000 more. That wasn't a YouTube link. If you type something with no space. Okay. Link deleted is all I care about. Because I don't want any link. I could go uh, get more. 9,000 more. Go kill all those guys again. And then go pick up my other ones. To have 18,000. Nah, just go pick up your 9.8. Alrighty. Because you've died to the dudes down there before, too. This is true. Sounds like one of them killed each other. There you go. That time you didn't get hit by the dude. You I like how you over just jump jumper. over him. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, right there's a good spot to get your souls back. And then these guys jump right over them. And then just start spamming A so once you get to the bonfire, you'll sit down before they get close to you. Otherwise, you're going to have to kill everything. That's not A. There you go. Perfect. So um, let's leave here. Let's go over to where Big Hat Logan's at. Okay. And see how much it costs to get his second great heavy soul arrow. Mm -hmm. And let you read some of the other spells and see if you want any of them. Because we'll either have to farm souls or sell to Framp some. He's going to be left. He's going to be on the left wall inside that little nook you found earlier with one chest. Oh, okay. On the right. No, turn around, go back in that room. No, that is the nook. Yeah, yeah, that is the nook. Never mind. I was like, what? Yeah, I'm silly. There he is. Mr. Big Hat. Hello there. Hello there. Because once we kill Seath, he goes insane right here. Oh, great. Purchase item. Uh, great Heavy Solar, we can already go ahead and buy it. But it's up to you. Read through some of the souls here. Um, each one of the missiles, mm -hmm. you look at the uses. The lower the uses, the more the damage. The more magic it takes, the more damage. That kind of thing. Homing Soul Mass puts five orbs around your body, and when you get close to something, it shoots them at it. Mm -hmm. It's good for PvP, but not really for PvE. Soul Spear is a really high damage, but it takes level 36 to use. Only has four uses. So it's up to you if you want to try to get 40k souls and get it. But it's like it and Crystal Soul Spear is like the only two that really like matter, so to speak. Um, and what you can do is you can get Soul Spear and Crystal Soul Spear and have eight shots of really high damage magic. Yeah. But, it, you know, it's up to you how you want to go about it. Let Honestly, me. great heavy soul arrows. Perfectly fine. Yeah, we need to grab one of those, but you said he goes insane. So yeah, I after we kill Seath, probably. you'll have you'll have your Moonlight Great Sword that we're talking about. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so you have that big shot that's going to be on it. So it's not really like a big deal uh, to have a higher damage spell. Mm -hmm. Like it's better for you to have like multiple small spells. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right then. And that'll put you at 16 of them once we get another attunement slot. 60? You'll have 16 great heavy soul arrows. Okay, yeah. yeah. Once we level up your attunement one more time. Alrighty then. So. Ah, uh, three orbs, five orbs, ten orbs. I'm here, what do it I puts do? orbs over your head. It's still not good for uh, player versus environment. You don't go down up there. There's a lever inside that room on the right that leads us to the next area. So let's head on over to a crystal cove. Woo! Looks like a conveyor belt. <laughs> and I'm I'm straight up not gonna help you with Crystal Cove. It is it is you to figure out what's going on. I don't want chat to give any tips. Like y'all just kinda hang out. We're gonna let him experience the area. Yeah. I mean, that's with any spell. Like the more intelligence you have, the more damage you're gonna do. Great heavy soul arrow is gonna outpace homing soul mass or even crystal homing in player versus environment uh homing solar soul mass and crystal homing soul mass is only really good in player versus player where you can catch people off guard so you know you're going to deal more damage with great heavy soul arrows at the end of the day per cast well not per cast but like per speed of casting no one i'm outside like in the woods Yep. I will say this. 
you're headed to the left more than anything else. That way we don't get stuck in the woods for too long. Alrighty. Yeah, the crystal guy's armor. That's a good framp cell. Oh, I was like, a good what? When you said framp cell. Oh yeah. I feel a bonkin' coming too. I agree. He's pretty good at fighting these crystal guys because of how slow they are and how fast the claymore goes. So I ain't really too worried about him fighting the crystal guys through here. Can't backstab them. Good to know. Nah, you can't backstab these guys. I can stab They're around. one larger than you is why. You know about PvP as well? Uh, yeah. So I have played this game on the PlayStation 3 when it first came out before the uh, Dragon Head patch. I have played PlayStation 4's remaster. I've played the PC's original edition and the remaster. I've played Xbox 360's version of it. I've played Xbox One's version of it. I've played the Nintendo Switch version of it. Um, I've played the remaster and the original as well on that side. Um, and each one of those consoles that I've played this game on I've had around 12 PvP characters and maybe eight player versus environment PvE ones. Uh, every time the game would come out on a new system, I would buy it for that system so that I could have an invigorated player versus player uh, environment. I used to play back when I had to use a uh, Xbox 360 controller plugged up to my computer to make the place uh, make my PC think it was a PlayStation 3 controller with DS3 fix so that I could play with a janky analog stick on the original edition on the PC. Yeah, Dragon Head patch was in the original updated version of the game. Literally the patch after the game came out for the PlayStation 3 got rid of the Dragon Head patch, but it was literally go to Dragon um, go to the Dragon Covenant in Ash Lake, get the head, put a soul inside your hotbar and then push your head bre breath attack w at the same time that you push your soul. That way, every frame that the dragon's breath was shooting lightning, you were gaining that soul. So you would get millions and millions and millions and millions of souls from that glitch. He's the only person here that's playing the game for the first time because it's my nephew and I'm bringing in a new generation of gamers. Good luck, okay. Crystal Lake. I've made Crystal it Cave. This far. I'm straight up not telling you anything about Crystal Cove, man. This is all you. Like, it is your job to figure this out. And if anybody puts tips inside chat that's here right now, I will I will time you out in a heartbeat. Because I do not want him to know how to do this. And this is how this is going to go for him. That's great. <laughs> Near where you drop down for the maiden set. Okay, so I'm dropping down to the maiden set. Jump down on the fence. So I jump down on the fence to the first platform, then mid roll to the floor. Okay. I don't know if I'll ever really do that. Unless it's some. No, well, there's not really any reason to do it in a speed run, so. Well, no. Nah. I just beat the series recently, had no idea about that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. If you're going to use glitches, may as well just fall control quit out and jump straight to the bottom. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm saying. I don't hardly ever use glitches. I'm just talking about when I first started playing, which was literally launch pretty much like in the first month of launching of launch day. Launch day. Yeah, I've been playing this game for friggin' like 10 years now. 
every year easily literally literally every single uh time the games came out i've bought it for that console and like built a pvp character just to play the pvp do they not diagro no you can run past them to go straight down into crystal cove well, especially now that i pulled them all the way up here all righty it might be faster than running down all them stairs but like <clears throat> Time isn't important for a new player who's going through their first time playing through the game. Like, if it was me, maybe I would consider trying that kind of thing. But I'm only going... Like, okay, let's take, for example, me. Alright? If I'm running a magic build, and I need Big Hat Logan, I'm not going to use this, like, weird shortcut. I'm just going to go down the stairs, get Big Hat Logan, and come on back up the stairs. It's only going to take me one attempt. For a new player, they're not going to do it because it's their first time playing. They can't know about it. Like, they just have to go through the struggle and feel the suffering of playing the game for the first time. So, they're, they're just not going to do it. Uh, this would be only for people that, like, consistently run magic builds and go down them stairs more than once, maybe. Or if they're farming those squid head dudes like there's not really much of a use for a faster way down the stairs like just go down the stairs it doesn't take that long to go down the stairs anyway you're talking about saving maybe a minute or 45 seconds worth of time depending on how much time it saves it could take more since you have to get into meme rolling range and then go back to normal yeah basically they just chill here yeah all right i am completely lost i see a bunch of those look around use your puzzle and uh use your deductive skills to figure out what you need to do man <laughs> notice some stuff about your environment around you i need to get over there yeah you need to get over there now what is something you notice going on there's a large spike but i don't know how to get over there's like three clues to how to get over there right now on screen right this One, minute. One, two, three. Notice the snowfall. Yeah. Watch it. Watch how the snowfall moves. It touches something when it hits the ground. It goes poof. Now look around for other snowfall. This took me a while too, Bjorn. Don't feel bad. Welcome to Crystal <laughs> Cave. I just trusted it. I mean, those guys were there, so. There you go. And now it is completely up to you to figure out where to go from here. I want to get him down here. That way I could at least fight him. That's a good idea, actually. <clears throat> if it don't save too much time, I'm usually not too worried about it at the end of the day is what I'm saying. Dude, he's so slow. I just get it. Get in there, get it done. Like, I ain't worried about nothing. You could great heavy solar arrow from a distance. It barely does any damage. Like, none. Well, at least it's some damage before you get over there. <laughs> this guy has a lot of HP. Oh! 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 Oh man, this is some crazy stuff. <laughs> He's stuck Fatty right can't there. Fit in here. All right, how do I Fatty get out? Fatty can't fit in here. And <laughs> I'll just let you figure it out, bro. You did scare all the crystal lizards off, that's for sure. Great, that means I gotta go this way. I have no idea where this guy's gonna go. Then roll away, hit him, roll away, hit him, roll away. That's a good idea. He don't respawn, I don't think. Or if he does, I don't remember. It's very rare that I die in here and have to fight him twice. This is when you do orange soapstone down and right fatty. <laughs> fatty ahead. <laughs> Whoa, he almost jumped off. May want to lock onto him at least. 
There you go. That was the easiest crystal golem fight I've ever seen in my life. No joke. Look at him being so careful, making sure he doesn't walk off the side of anything. Good job. Well, that was the fastest crystal cave I've ever seen in my life. What do you mean? Well, you didn't even take like the wrong ways. Like you went straight for it. That is the absolute fastest crystal cave I've ever seen. That is awesome. Well, technically one of them was an accident. Um. I didn't mean to get down into that cave. I had no clue where I was going. Well, it's going to be interesting because I don't know how he's going to handle the next fight, but if he can remember which way he went, because now we're looking at, can he remember which way he went after he dies right now? <sighs> probably not. I'm not really going to lie. Probably not. I'll also go ahead and let you know, you don't got to fight the clams. I do have to fight them. You don't. I don't. Love to hear it. They'll be in the boss fight the first time <laughs> you go in, but after that, they can't go through the boss fog. Alrighty. The first time. Oh, that was the boss fog right there? Close by. Just past them. Wow. I thought that was going to take me a lot longer. I did too. That's why we were saying yeah. it. that's the fastest Crystal Cave he's like, I've seen. He's like, oh, it's going to take an hour for you to get through Crystal Cove. Maybe yeah, an hour most people and take wrong directions and stuff. So, Well, you you might be right because <laughs> I might take a wrong direction here. And Nance, legitimately, I never showed him Crystal Cave. Never told him which way to go. This is his first time seeing Crystal Cave. He has literally no idea. And he just went right for it. I mean, you could tell because he's like going through this much of the forest just to get to the entrance rather than just running straight for the entrance. <laughs> so actually, you might get to see the first Seath fight, man. You mean the first and second and final Seath fight? Ah, uh, <laughs> he has some confidence. Third try. I'm let's third see try. if he let's see if he remembers how to get there. That's the real question here. Cause it's easy to get turned around here in Crystal Cave. Oh man, that thing fell off into the void. Nice. Did I get my... I know it's it wasn't that way because I had to go... Wait, I'm not even in the right place no oh, more. Oh yeah, I'm going to tell him about the tail here in a minute. I'll just follow this way though. See what happens. Oh. So now he knows about the sparkles. Anyway, I need to go find where I was. Yep. All I gotta do is look for writing. He's already turned around. Yeah, it's gonna take about an hour and a half, Nance. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is not. I'm up here at the top already. Alright, I go this way. He had to start back from the top and try to remind himself. <laughs> I'm doing the right thing. And then I go this way. This was the way I was at anyway. Yeah, and then when I get down here. I don't go that way. Watch him. Follow that little Bjorn, path. don't let me down. Don't let your brain forget where to go. There we go. And then there's the little yellow footprint thingies. Yep. Orange are, I reckon. Yeah, being online definitely gives away this area just a little bit. But also, it's kind of okay that that happens. Hey, he doesn't respawn. I told you. All right. But how do I get down into that cave now? <laughs> oh. There you go. Well, he's got it figured out. Now all he's got to do is just go kill the boss. The first message is actually a dev message, so you'll see it offline as well. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Oh. I wonder if it was put there for remaster or if it was there for the original game. Because, like, I genuinely 
You know, I might actually start up a series where I load up just my PlayStation 3 and like delete all of my data off of my PS3 and play Dark Souls offline as like original patch day type deal where like everything the game was when it first launched. That'd be kind of fun. Like launch souls or, you know, the original Dark Souls before patches, patchless souls. This is cool. Souls. This is a cool friggin' cinematic. <clears throat> they use this cinematic What's for their thingy? trailers and stuff. They had some dope trailers too. Some really dope trailers. All right, so you're wanting to cut his tail off. He's got basically three limbs on the back. It's the middle one is his tail. Okay. And you want to hit the tip of that tail the best you can. Crabs aren't here. Did the crabs not make it in? No. Ah, the crabs didn't make it in. You got in here at a good time then. Nope, there's one crab. Two crabs. Two crabs. Quit turning around on me, boy. Luckily, the next time you go off and uh, fight, you'll end up uh, not having crabs. You definitely want to hit closer to the tip. And two-handing deals more damage, and it's a it's an amount of HP kind of thing for cutting tails off. Because I know we haven't cut very many tails off. Mm -hmm. Jumping attack helps, too. I actually don't know if you'll be able to get it just yet either. <laughs> I'm actually curious. Yeah, I'm doing no damage. <laughs> You're also going to want to put on some anti-curse armor. Why? Because he does curse. It popped up for you for a second there. Oh, that's what that was? Yeah. And that'll be more important than even, like, dealing damage to this boss. Hey, he killed the, uh... Thank you. He killed the little old cra Crabbo dudes. You got this, Bjorn. I've hit him twice, and he's not taking any damage. Oh, yeah. There's a hint on that in the cutscene. So next time, you may want to watch the cutscene and see if you can figure it out. Okay, I can't So, yeah, you, you can't even get the tail right now. That's funny. But some bosses have special things to them, and the cutscene gives you a hint. So you may just want to go ahead and die and, and come back. Come on, say something. <laughs> this is where watching cutscenes can be really helpful. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wow. <laughs> I just hope you don't get cursed. That is a, uh, oh, please don't get cursed. Please don't get cursed. Oh, thank God you didn't get cursed. What's wrong about getting cursed? Whew. Remember it insta kills you. It's the frog mechanic where it insta kills you and you lose half your health. Oh. Remember you got stuck in the depths because yeah. of that. Hold up before moving, hold up before moving. Uh, sit down, use repair armor. Let's see. Oh, we don't have the repair thingy. Uh, warp. I had 10k souls too. To the uh, Undead Parish. I had 10k souls. Yeah, it's gonna happen. At this point, though, it's like, what, 20k <laughs> to level up or something? Not to level up, but man, I could have done something else. Go into those. your hard souls. Hard souls. I have a firekeeper. No, no, that's not what we're on. Use the Brave Warrior. And then head down to the blacksmith and repair everything you're using currently. So your sword, your shield, your helmet, your pants, everything you got on right now. And give him his crystal ember. Alright, hit um, repair equipment. Repair, repair. Um. Do your sword and shield first. There you go. Because you don't want those breaking on you at all. <laughs> all right. And, and then the gauntlet. There's a little icon of what you're wearing. 
What are you doing? I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> if you pay attention, you're, you got sticky, sticky. Ain't got no sticky on that controller. Yeah. It's just Xbox. Xbox controllers suck. <laughs> oh, you can't hit right next to it. Even just yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you're used to PlayStation. I know. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and repair the rest. Just because we wanted to make sure you didn't lose anything. Repair everything. Just hit A, left, A, A, left, A, A, left, A, A, left, A. There you go. All right, now back Should out. Should I up. put my regular get up on? Because we did this for a certain thing. It's fast rolling. So go go to your equipment. We're wanting to put curse resist on. Uh, start at your chest plate. Hit toggle display. Hit toggle display. Hit toggle display. There All right, go. you're wanting to put on your highest curse resist armor. Any at all will end up helping. So you want to also do the lightest if they're equal to each other. So that's 2.7 versus what was the other? 6.6? can't remember. 2.7. Yeah, do that one. Go to the gauntlets. Look for Hirsch resist gauntlets. Any at all is going to help with this fight. What is that? That's not it. That one. Remember that. Yep, go ahead and put that on there. One and 1.6. And then put some pants on. That's it, that's all you got. And then go put some pants on. Let me see, one and one. Tap heavy two. boots is what it's gonna be. There you go. And then you should be still fast rolling. Medium. Medium. It's fine. All right, and then warp on back over to Duke's archives. And then this time, let's watch that cutscene and see if you can figure out what's special about this boss. Large magic ember. I try to give, like, helpful hints without just giving it away. Because, like, what I'm telling him will lead him to the answer, but I don't want to just give him the answer. What That's what's of, good for a first playthrough. What kind of shirt am I wearing? Robes. Yeah, Seath. Uh, oh, that's actually a good point. Seath might not play multiple times. That's right. You are right, Inline. It might not play a second time. If it don't, I'll just let him know. Actually, I'll put it like this. There is something in the arena that is keeping his health maxed out. I think I know what it is because you keep saying the cutscene when there was that thingy a bobber. Um, hold up, sorry, I'm trying to run away from these big dudes. There was a thingy a bobber that was in there. That was <laughs> in the bobber thing that was in the cutscene. I even, I, I said something. Oh, I must have missed something you said then. I was like, what is that? And then you just sat there and I was like, okay. Yeah, I was talking to chat while uh, you did it. <laughs> Alright, just keep running. But is that really the, the... Like, this is just it? Just running down through here, running there, and then... Yeah, but see, here's the problem. Um, Usually people make wrong turns and stuff because what it is is once you go straight right here mm -hmm. you can go straight again and also there's a left over that way and like this place is a little bit hidden right here but where you got knocked down there by the golem yeah. it set you on the right path because like people end up going left and then straight down instead of right here because this is kind of hidden off and you got hit down here by the golem yeah so <laughs> technically the golem the golem led you nope. on the right path. Yeah. Yeah. So, that was that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to run past these guys this time. I'm, I am I feel like I'm slower. Yeah, you are slower from medium rolls. That's why we had it set up like we did. Magic does nothing to Seath, so there's not even like a reason to even consider magic. 
Yeah, jump rolls are really good. All right. Hopefully the extra four curse resistance is actually helpful. Wow. Okay, so is it just this, this thingy? Hold on. That thingy, the bright thingy? The bright glowing thing that yeah. most video games is like trying to hint at you something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I saw it in the cutscene, and then I saw it as I let him kill me, and you said it's in the cutscene, and then you also said it's in... In the boss room. Yeah, so I was like, there was only two things. It could have been. Said. Yeah. Like... <laughs> but yeah, there's your 10k souls on the ground right there. I'll defeat him, then pick him up. That's a good idea, actually. But mainly our goal is to get the sword before we ever even touch him. <clears throat> well, we gotta touch and him when he's like sword. this, you're not gonna be able to get the tip of the tail, so you gotta like wait for him to get into a different area. I'm just making sure I can actually deal damage to him. Yeah, I got you. So I can't drink. block that at all. Nah, nothing that's at your feet, because your shield's not at your feet. Okay. So yeah, see this cutscene does not play multiple times. Good to know, good to know. I just run in here and kill them usually, so it's very rare for me to uh, even attempt to see his cutscene twice. That tail likes to move around a lot too, by the way. But you can block these attacks, but there's a good chance that some of them will one-shot you if you're not careful. All right. I just want your tail, man. I would definitely pick up the souls because there's a lot of one shot of potentials here. <laughs> right now is a good time to hit his, his tail. During these attacks, there. well, you got to go around. You can't be locked on all the time. Um, Seath is not a lock on boss. And then he's going to start hitting. Careful. Luckily, you're not getting one shot by that attack. I'm so used to being one shot from like soul level one challenges. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm so paranoid of these tails where I play soul level one challenges. I'm coming for your tail. That's not even your tail. It's not an easy tail to go get either. But it is perfect for your build. I am so surprised it's not a one shot. Uh. But you definitely want to top off, yeah. You're doing good on rolling past it. Then just two hand and just like start swinging. I can't get to it. He moves around. You're just waiting on that crystal uh, attack while you jump over the tail, so to speak. Here's the moment. Here's the moment. That was one hit on it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Like probably three hits is what you're going to have to do to get it. Right. Once you have the tail, you can just fight him. Obviously, he's not super hard of a boss. He only has so many moves. He'll definitely want to drink. You um, can use Seath's gem, run to it at the start, and wait until Seath gets close and destroy it. It stuns pretty well, then you sprint to the tail for two hand it. Just an option. Yeah, that curse resist we added on done great. Come on, let me come on around. Just that little extra curse resist made a difference. Here it is. Here's you another moment to hit the tip. Go. Yeah, go for another. For some reason, that was a longer attack. Yeah, you got back there sooner. He started his crystal attack, and then you were already back there, basically. Start circling around him the opposite direction sometime. Helps out. All right. Apparently, it was actually 15k so. Oh, well, you've gotten some more souls since then. Oh. Oh. That's okay. So let's try doing this. Uh, you can get to Seath's gym in the back. Mm -hmm. Stand there. Wait for Seath to get close. Destroy it. Because destroying the gym stuns him for a good second. That allows you to get in behind him. Warp to um, Firelink Shrine real quick for me. Alrighty. This way you get 20 S's flask. Yeah. 
then set down and warp to uh, Duke's Archives. But no, uh, the problem was just finding the right time to get this tail. Oh, that's what we're talking about. You stand at the gym until Seath gets close by, mm -hmm. and then you hit the gym to stun him, and it stuns long enough for you to get behind him and two hand his tail down. All right, I can do that. Got to be fast, because I wasn't fast enough. And then if you're not fast enough, you just got to, like, you know, just got to go, you know? Got to go, go fast. For it. But yeah, this armor helped out keep you from getting cursed. Yeah, I, I saw the thingy, my bobber, the cursed. Pop up. Yeah. This time. All uh, right. You literally don't have to fight anything to get to see. Yeah, but you know, a little extra souls here and there. Assuming you pick up your other ones. Yeah, I'll pick them up. You could just go beeline straight instead of making that long direction around. I just don't want to aggro everybody. They aren't going to chase you all the way down in the crystal cave. Which is kind of weird. It seems like it'd be their home. They just don't. I don't know what it is. Even they are scared of Nance got it by running around him, but the gym does help quite a bit. But yeah, this is what it's like to fight Seath. It's a really long distance down to his boss fog, but it's fairly safe. And he's a fairly easy boss, but we're going for a specific Yeah, you got to get the tail first, and then he's an easy boss. Yeah, because, I mean, I was just wailing on him before. Like, the first time I went in there, I was just wailing on him in that little spot right there next to his leg. I could have definitely finished him if I had known about the crystal and we weren't going for the Moonlight Greatsword. Wow. There goes those souls. That's fine. Just be sure not to glaze over while you're headed back down to Seath each time. No, it was you with your hand in front of my face. <laughs> Very distracting. Rip. All right, Dukes of Archive. Okay, so if I stay at this one and just warp every time, do I still keep the 20 SS flasks? Yeah, right. it's just there's going to be bonfires you can't warp to. So you'll have 20 SS flasks until you run down to five. And then you'll have five at that bonfire All until right. you find another warping bonfire. Warping bonfires we can save humanity's on. All right. Okay. I can't ever get that jumping attack in. I've been trying for the past couple of runs, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, I've noticed. And you can just jump down off the ladder rather than yeah. going down it. Alright, just, just run straight. Because I don't know how many attempts it's going to take you to get through C, so any time savers help at this point. I'm just so... I, I feel like I'm so much slower. Good luck. You got this, man. I have faith in you. We all believe in you. So what time is your uh, dentist there, Nance? How much longer do you got in chat here? Yeah, give me give me a timeline to beat him by. That'll motivate him. Yeah, I do better under pressure. Under pressure. It's like, he's like, I'm on my way there now. Like, <laughs> you got 30 seconds, <laughs> brah about to put me under walk in there spin around slap him in the face <laughs> dead huh i have 400 souls 11 15 gotta leave soon all right what time is it 10 you got an hour and 15 minutes but, but he has to leave soon so he's gonna not gonna be able to watch in the car so I we're not talking have... about that we're talking about doing it before he gets to the dentist well he's not gonna be watching in the car is that's he? not my problem <laughs> our goal is to beat seath before he gets to the dentist all other things don't matter my goal is to beat <laughs> seath before he leaves for the dentist nobody talked about him seeing seath die 
talked about him oh, getting Oh, it's in dipped. Dandridge. <laughs> run, boys, run. <laughs> okay. You got this, man. Run yep. past him, get to the crystal, stand at the crystal till he gets close, break crystal, run behind him, two hand, slap his tail. Two in, smack his tail. Got it. But you definitely want to wait on him for just half a second. I walk slowly. And then drink. And then however long you think it would take you to run behind him is your time to hit the, the thing. Run, run, Rudolph time. You, you could have uh, went around the tail, bro. <laughs> then he doesn't even two-hand. This is your moment. He also did the crystal attack. That was two hits on the tail. Well, one and a half, really. Hey, it was still two hits. He got one and a half. Before I walk into that dentist, you better have the sword and kill him. <laughs> I agree. What? Oh my god. Bro. Okay, well, new <laughs> rule for Steve. 